A call for justice in Memphis after a 29 year old black man dies shortly after being detained by police. Charles Watson has the story. He was defenseless the entire time. He was a human pinata for those police officers. Outrage in Memphis following the death of 29 year old Tyree Nichols, who died three days after being pulled over for reckless driving by five Memphis police officers. On Monday, Nichols' family and attorneys reviewed body camera video of the stop, video that even the Memphis police chief admitted was hard to watch. Regrettably, it reminded us of Rodney King video. According to authorities, Nichols was pulled over near his home on January 7th. He was involved in two confrontations with police before being detained. He later complained of shortness of breath and was taken to a hospital where days later he died. He was two minutes from the house when they stopped him. Attorneys say body camera video shows he was tased, pepper sprayed, handcuffed, and kicked by multiple officers in uniform. While authorities have only said Nichols suffered a medical emergency, Nichols' family believes the beating caused him to have a heart attack. All five officers involved have since been fired. No father, mother should have to witness what I saw today. The public won't see the video for another one to two weeks, as the Shelby County District Attorney says its release could impact their investigation and the judicial process. This week, two Memphis Fire Department employees were also relieved of duty while an internal investigation is conducted. In Memphis, Charles Watson, Fox News.